Spiritual growth is a journey like no other, a winding path that leads us to the depths of our being and the heights of our potential. As we evolve on this transformative quest, we often find ourselves letting go of the very things that once defined us. It's a process of shedding like a snake releasing its old skin to reveal a more vibrant, resilient self underneath. But what exactly do spiritually awakened individuals release on their path to enlightenment? In this exploration, we'll dive deep into the specific habits, mindsets, and attachments that highly spiritual people gradually let go of, and how this act of surrender elevates their journey. If you're new to our celestial corner, do reach for the subscribe button like you're aligning with the stars in perfect harmony. And if you feel a gentle pulse of energy in your heart, let that be the universe's way of guiding you to tap that like button. Don't resist the cosmic flow, people. You know I thrive on positive energy exchange and your support is like discovering a sacred temple deep within your soul's journey. I appreciate you. Now, let's dive into the video. Here are nine things that spiritually transcending chosen ones will move on from during and after isolation. If this is what you may be going through or know someone who has resorted to be solitude for a time, they might be going through a spiritual growth process involving the dark night of the soul or seeking deeper meaning of life. One, letting go seems easier in movies, but in real life, it can be a messy and uncomfortable process. It's often filled with moments of uncertainty and grief that we were never trained to handle until they actually happened to us. We may find ourselves questioning long-held beliefs, releasing toxic relationships, or even saying goodbye to comfort zones that have become like old friends. It's like cleaning out your closet. You know it needs to be done, but sometimes it's just easier to shut the door and pretend those skeletons don't exist. But here's the thing. When we have the courage to face our shadows and release what no longer serves us, we create space for something extraordinary to emerge. We unlock the door to deeper self-awareness, greater inner peace, and a more authentic expression of who we truly are. As we begin our spiritual journey, one of the first things we often need to release is the confronting illusion of control. It's a hard pill to swallow. But the truth is, we start with little understanding of what is actually going on in the world and what we are doing here exactly. So we rely on the stability of our pre-programming that gives us the security and roadmap of how to navigate through life. Our need for control stems from a place of fear and insecurity, a deep-seated belief that if we don't have a firm grip on the reins, everything will fall apart. But the spiritual path teaches us that life is more fluid than we can ever hope to manage. This realization can be both terrifying and liberating. On one hand, it means surrendering the comfort of predictability and accepting that there are some things beyond our control. On the other hand, it frees us from the burden of trying to orchestrate every detail of our lives. When we let go and trust in a higher power, a divine plan, or the natural flow of life, we find a sense of peace that no amount of control could ever provide. Practically speaking, this shift in perspective can manifest in various ways. We may find ourselves more adaptable to change, more willing to go with the flow, and less attached to specific outcomes. So, take a deep breath, release your grip, and trust the journey. The universe has your back, too. One of the most profound shifts on the spiritual journey involves detaching from ego-based identities. The ego, that ever chatterbox within us, thrives on labels, status, and material success. It creates a false sense of self, convincing us that our worth is tied to our job titles, bank accounts, or social media followers. But as we awaken spiritually, we begin to recognize that these identities are merely masks we wear, not the essence of who we truly are. The process of shedding these ego-driven identities often begins with deep introspection, where we question the beliefs and values that have shaped our lives. 
we may realize that the pursuit of external validation, whether through accolades, possessions, or comparisons, only leads to fleeting satisfaction. As we detach from the ego, we start to embrace our authentic selves, free from societal expectations. This journey encourages us to celebrate our uniqueness and recognize that our true value lies not in what we have or how we appear, but in the love, compassion, and authenticity we bring to the world. By letting go of ego-based identities, we open ourselves to a richer, more fulfilling existence grounded in our true essence. And when you let go, magic happens. Three, in our society, the pursuit of external validation is like a drug. It promises a temporary high of self-worth, but ultimately leaves us craving more. We're conditioned to seek approval from others, to measure our success by the standards set by our peers, family, or social media influencers. But on our spiritual journey, we begin to realize that this endless chase for validation is a trap that keeps us from fully embracing our authentic selves. Spiritually mature individuals learn to trust their inner guidance system, their intuition and their values as the ultimate source of validation. They understand that true self-worth comes from within, not from the opinions or perceptions of others. This shift in perspective is liberating, as it frees us from the constant need to prove ourselves or live up to someone else's expectations. When we let go of the pursuit of external validation, we open ourselves up to a world of self-acceptance and self-love. We become less concerned with impressing others and more focused on being true to ourselves. This inner peace and self-assurance radiates outward, attracting people and opportunities that align with our highest good. It's a powerful act of self-empowerment, one that allows us to live authentically and unapologetically. Four, during spiritual growth comes the realization that we are responsible for our own emotions. It's easy to fall into the trap of blaming others for how we feel. Our partner made us angry. Our boss made us stressed. Our friend made us jealous. But the truth is, no one can make us feel anything. Our emotions are our own, and it's up to us to take ownership of them. This doesn't mean that we shouldn't feel hurt when someone wrongs us or that we should ignore our feelings. On the contrary, acknowledging and processing our emotions is a crucial part of the spiritual journey. But it does mean that we need to stop playing the blame game and take responsibility for how we respond to life's challenges. When we take ownership of our emotions, we empower ourselves. We stop being passive victims of circumstance and become active creators of our inner landscape. This shift allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with more grace and resilience. Instead of lashing out at others or wallowing in self-pity, we can use our emotions as a compass guiding us toward greater self-awareness and personal growth. Practically speaking, this means cultivating emotional intelligence and self-regulation skills. Practices like mindfulness, journaling, and self-reflection can help us become more attuned to our feelings and better equipped to manage them. Remember, taking responsibility for our emotions isn't about suppressing or denying them. It's about acknowledging them, understanding them, and choosing how to respond to them in a way that aligns with our highest values and goals. Five, in a world that constantly bombards us with messages about what we need to be happy, letting go of attachment to material things can feel like an uphill battle. We often find ourselves wrapped up in the belief that our possessions define us. Whether it's the car we drive, the clothes we wear, or the gadgets we own. However, spiritually awakened individuals recognize that true fulfillment comes from within, not from what we accumulate. The first step in this transformative process is acknowledging that material possessions do not bring lasting happiness. While it's perfectly fine to enjoy the comforts of life, clinging to them can lead to stress and dissatisfaction. As we release our attachment to material things, we often find ourselves gravitating towards simplicity and minimalism. This shift allows for deeper connections with ourselves and others as we focus less on consumerism 
and more on meaningful experiences. By prioritizing relationships and personal growth over possessions, we cultivate inner peace and joy that no amount of stuff can provide. Six, fear is a powerful force that can hold us back from fully embracing our spiritual journey. It manifests in various ways, self-doubt, anxiety, and even procrastination, often convincing us to play small and avoid taking risks. The first step in overcoming fear-based thinking is acknowledging its presence. Instead of trying to suppress or ignore fear, spiritually awakened individuals learn to observe it without judgment. This practice of mindfulness allows us to understand fear as a natural human emotion rather than a debilitating barrier. Once we recognize fear, we can begin to unravel the stories we tell ourselves. These narratives often stem from past experiences or societal conditioning, leading us to believe that we are unworthy or incapable. By challenging these limiting beliefs, we can replace fear with self-compassion and empowerment. Practical tools such as meditation, deep breathing, and positive affirmations can help shift our mindset from fear-based decision-making to heart-centered living. Embracing love and trust over fear opens doors to new possibilities and experiences. As we let go of fear-based thinking, we cultivate a sense of freedom and courage that propels us forward on our spiritual path, allowing us to live authentically and fully. 7. As we progress on our spiritual journey, one of the most crucial aspects is the release of negative emotional patterns that can hinder our growth. These patterns often stem from unhealed wounds and past experiences, manifesting as habitual reactions that block our spiritual progress. Recognizing and addressing these emotional patterns is essential for achieving deeper self-awareness and emotional mastery. The first step in this process is becoming aware of our emotions without judgment. We can start to identify the negative patterns that arise in various situations. For instance, do you find yourself reacting with anger when faced with criticism? Or do you retreat into silence during conflict? These automatic responses are often rooted in fear, insecurity, or past trauma. Once we identify these patterns, we can begin to work through them. The act of acknowledging and processing our emotions allows us to release their hold over us. Forgiveness, both of ourselves and others, is also a vital part of this healing process. By letting go of resentment and guilt, we create space for love, compassion, and emotional freedom. Ultimately, releasing negative emotional patterns leads to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. As we learn to respond to situations with awareness rather than reactivity, we align more closely with our true selves and open the door to profound spiritual growth. 8. Perfectionism can feel like a badge of honor in our achievement-driven society, but it often comes at a significant cost. The relentless pursuit of perfection is rooted in insecurity and fear of failure leading many to believe that unless everything is flawless, their efforts are worthless. This mindset not only drains our energy, but can also stifle creativity and growth. As we progress on our spiritual journey, we begin to understand that perfection is an illusion, a mirage that keeps us chasing an unattainable goal. The truth is, imperfection is part of the human experience. Embracing our flaws and recognizing that mistakes are opportunities for growth allows us to replace the crippling need for perfection with a more compassionate approach to ourselves. This shift encourages us to focus on progress rather than perfection. We learn to celebrate our efforts and achievements, no matter how small, and to recognize that vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. By letting go of the need to be perfect, we create space for authenticity, creativity, and genuine connection with others. Ultimately, abandoning perfectionism paves the way for a more fulfilling and spiritually aligned life where we can thrive as our true selves. 9. 
What if the key to unlocking a deeper sense of purpose and connection lies in recognizing that we are all part of a vast, interconnected web of life? This profound realization is a cornerstone of many spiritual traditions, yet it's easy to overlook in our day-to-day -day lives where the illusion of separation can leave us feeling isolated and disconnected. The illusion of separation manifests in various ways. The belief that we are distinct from others, from nature, and from the divine. It leads to feelings of loneliness and a sense of disconnection from the larger whole. However, as we progress on our spiritual path, we begin to see through this veil of illusion, understanding that we are not islands unto ourselves, but rather integral parts of a greater whole. Letting go of the illusion of separation is a gradual process, one that involves expanding our circle of compassion and recognizing the inherent worth and dignity in all beings. It means cultivating a sense of reverence for the natural world and our place within it, requiring a deep trust in the interconnectedness of all things, a faith that our actions, thoughts, and emotions ripple outward affecting the scheme of life. When we quit the illusion of separation, we unlock the door to a more expansive, fulfilling existence. We find ourselves more attuned to the rhythms of nature, more sensitive to the suffering of others, and more committed to creating a world of greater harmony and justice. We become agents of change, not just for ourselves, but for the collective good. And in doing so, we tap into the profound joy and purpose that comes from living in alignment with the fundamental truth of our interconnectedness. So, let us embrace this truth. Let us quit the illusion of separation and let us step into the fullness of our spiritual potential as members of the great web of life. For in doing so, we not only transform ourselves, but also contribute to the healing and evolution of our world. As we conclude this exploration, let us remember that this process of letting go is not a one-time event, but rather a lifelong practice. It's an ongoing cycle of releasing and receiving, of shedding the old to make way for the new. And while it may not always be easy, it is a necessary part of the spiritual path. When we find the courage to let go of the need for control, the false identities of the ego, and the pursuit of external validation, we create space for something extraordinary to emerge. We unlock the door to deeper self-awareness, greater inner peace, and a more authentic expression of who we truly are. And when we release negative emotional patterns, the illusion of separation, and the crippling need for perfection, we tap into a wellspring of love, compassion, and connection that nourishes our souls. Remember, the journey of spiritual growth is not a race to the finish line, but rather a lifelong exploration of the depths of our being. So embrace the process of letting go. Trust the journey and know that with each release you are one step closer to living a life that is aligned with your highest values and your deepest truth. For in the end, the greatest gift we can give ourselves and the world is the gift of our authentic, fully expressed selves. Thank you for watching this far. Seriously, you're the true star of the cosmic journey. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it. Sharing isn't just caring, it's spreading good vibes. And let's be honest, we could all use more of those in the universe. Plus, you might just help a friend discover their own spiritual aha moment. Also, you may want to check out our other video about what happens when chosen ones come out of isolation. Until next time, I wish you eternal cosmic love and stay radiant.